So for the next 20 minutes or so, you're going to need to make yourselves comfortable if you can. As I invite you to relax before God in a time of prayerful reflection, a time of reviewing. Perhaps you'll review the last 12 hours or the last 24 hours, the last week, the last year. Your life, it's up to you to choose. And as you choose, relax and breathe deeply. And just begin by placing yourself in the presence of our loving God. Gracious and loving God, I believe that I am in your presence and that you are loving me. Lord Jesus, I believe that at this very moment, whatever is going on in my life, I am in your presence and you are loving me. Loving me without condition, without restrictions, no limits. And so I choose, as I sit in your graceful presence, to open my mind, my memory, my imagination, myself, to your great love. So, Lord God, speak. Your servant is listening. With your eyes open or your eyes closed, sitting however you will be most comfortable. Continue to breathe deeply as you review today in thanksgiving. What are you grateful for? Not just one thing, this isn't counting your blessings, this is savouring all the blessings you can think of. Perhaps only little things. Who are the people that love you? Who are the people that you love? Let their faces smile in front of you. Continue to breathe deeply, breathe in their love. And if you have any disagreements or arguments or tensions in those relationships, 
exhale them. Choose to let them set them aside for now. As you exhale, all that's negative. Be conscious of your hand posture as you pray. Consciously choose a gesture, a, a posture, a position for your hands that says, thank you, Lord, for the blessings in my life. Spend a moment thanking God for the gift of faith. Thank God that Jesus has touched your life. Thank God for a faith that sustains you. For Jesus who never gives up on you. I wonder what are the gifts and talents that God has blessed you with? What are you good at? What are your talents, your natural gifts and your abilities? Thank God for those gifts, those talents. And what about the, what you might call the supernatural gifts that God has blessed you with? What are the virtues in your life where, by the grace of God, you feel the power of Christ moving in your life? Perhaps you're a good listener. You're patient. You are caring. You're compassionate. You are merciful. You're energetic. You're excited. What are the gifts that God has blessed you with? Name them and acknowledge that all these blessings come from one source. And thank God for those gifts, whatever they are. What's happened in the last day or the last couple of days that's made your heart smile?
what's happened that you're especially grateful for? See if you can picture Jesus before you, smiling at you, delighting in you. Behold God, beholding you and smiling. A twinkle of love in his eye for you. And of all that you've reviewed and thanked God for, what is most alive for you right now? Whether it's something big or something small, even just a moment's joy. What are you most definitely grateful for? Take time to talk to God in the quiet of your heart and thank God for that thing. Lord God, every good and perfect gift is from your hand. Every beautiful and holy gift. May we always find a way to welcome it. Every good and perfect gift is from your hand, Lord God. So thank you. Thank you, Lord. Now review what you felt throughout this day and then talk to and listen to God about those feelings. Begin with this morning when you woke up. How did you feel as you woke up? Were you excited about the day? Was it dr drudgery getting out of bed? Are you excited with the opening moments of your heart? Throughout the day, did you feel a sense of peace? Or anxiety? Or hope? What was going on? What surprised you today? What delighted you today? What frustrated you today? Did you lose your temper? Did you become fearful or defensive? Is 
Is there something that happened with a family member or a friend that particularly delighted you? Or did you feel lonely today? Afraid or anxious? Remember today, remember your day and remember what you felt. And of those positive feelings, which is the strongest for you? Perhaps there's something good that you felt in the course of the day and you just want that feeling to grow. You want to fan the flame. Remember what you felt like, even if it was only for a few moments in the course of the day. Perhaps someone smiled at you. Perhaps someone said something that was pleasant or uplifting. Perhaps you took a refreshing phone call, someone it was good to hear from, or a welcome doorstep visit. Perhaps you accomplished a task. Perhaps you heard something in God's word today. Talk to Jesus about it as one friend to another. Spend a minute or two just talking to him. And now listen. Take a moment to still your heart and just be in the presence of Jesus. Maybe he says something. Maybe he does something. Maybe there's a thought that comes into your mind. Take a moment, be still and wait. Now bring a negative feeling from the day. Something you want to or need to let go of.
acknowledge that it was there. Because maybe you pushed it aside into the corner, but there it is. Recognize it, engage it, bring it before the Lord. And just talk to him about why you feel what you feel. Maybe you're ashamed of that feeling. Maybe you don't want to feel that feeling, but there it is nonetheless. Maybe you're afraid of it. Bring it before the Lord. And as you bring it before the Lord, behold him beholding you, listening, receiving your sorrow, your anger, your fear. And speak to God as one friend to another who listens without judgment. And if you're able to visualize it, picture Jesus's face. Maybe he says something. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he reaches out to you. Maybe he places his hand on your shoulder. Engage your imagination. What do you imagine Jesus, who is infinite love, doing in response to what you just shared? Let him surprise you. Now, looking forward in hope, think about tomorrow. Tomorrow you'll face fresh challenges, frustrations and joys. And as you face the future, is there anything you want to hold on to from today? Anything you want to be especially conscious of tomorrow? Something you want to take forward. What has life taught you that you can draw on for tomorrow? What has God's spirit taught you? How is the spirit moving? What do you need to avoid? What do you need less of? What do you need more of? And ask God for his spirit right now. Ask God for the grace that you need to face tomorrow in hope. 
with more love and less fear. What gift, what virtue, virtue are you especially praying for that will help you to be a more perfect mirror of Christ's presence in the world? And ask God for that gift. And Lord God, may your kingdom come. May your will be done. May your kingdom come through me, through us. May your love be shown in us, in me. May your nearness be known through us, through me. May your kingdom come in us and through us. Alleluia. Amen. May God who dwells within us be forever free to reach out to God who dwells among us. So that together we might approach God who dwells beyond us, among us and within us. And so may God bless us always. God, who we name Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Creator, Christ and Comforter. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.